weather is absolutely nasty and it cannot decide what it wants to do, whether it wants to rain, sleet, snow. And this is like the fourth or fifth day of this really nasty weather. And I think we have two more days of this left. It's not actually very pleasant. Hi, oh, good morning, buddy. Hi. You get your coop moved again today? And you might be wondering, what am I doing here? Because like two videos ago, I told you guys that I was going to be going on a trip to see family in Mississippi. And by the time you're watching this, I am in Mississippi. This is just pre-recorded and scheduled to be released. So that explains that. Today, I have a lot of things I want to do before I leave. And I wish I had better weather for one of those things. And that is I'm going to clean the chicken coop today. And it's not going to be very pleasant. Good morning, guys. Hey, Whitey. Going on vacations or just leaving home overnight can be pretty challenging when you have a homestead and it's definitely something to take into consideration. Obviously, in an ideal scenario, you have family or neighbors that you can reciprocate with each other to watch out for each other's homesteads while the other one goes on vacation, but not everybody has that. We don't have that. We don't have anybody to watch after our critters. So that means both of us can't leave for more than 24 hours at the same time, which is why Glenn is staying here while I go visit family. And that's why it is such a big deal to consider the fact that if you ever want to leave your homestead after you get animals, who is going to take care of them? It is too chilly out here for me. The first thing that I want to do today is I want to make some chicken jerky to be able to take on my trip because I don't like eating processed food or buying restaurant food or any of that mess. I'd rather take my own. I'm gonna let my chicken jerky marinate for a couple hours. Ideally, I should have marinated it overnight, but it'll be just fine. And what I do for my marinade is I just pour some flat beer into the bowl, salt and pepper, and then Glenn likes it with like some cayenne or some hot pepper flakes or something like that, but I didn't do any of those this time since I'm just making one big batch for the both of us. But then I'll put it on the smoker. Of course, take the water tray out and just add some wood and yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and get the smoker kind of up to temp to get ready for that and in a couple hours i will be putting those on the grill and i mean the smoker and they might take a little while because some of them i cut kind of thick because i was in a hurry to just get it done so i might be doing this for a while tonight <laughs> it's just nice when traveling that I don't have to worry about finding quick food to eat that is organic, non-GMO and all that. And this way, I don't have to worry about it. I am starting a whole bunch of seeds today. All of the seeds that I need to start for the entire season, I have to get done today because like I said before, I'm going to be out of town. I'm gonna to be doing melons, my lettuce, flowers, my cherry tomatoes, and some herbs.
All right, I'm gonna get this jerky on the smoker. It's probably about as marinated as I have time to do today. <laughs> chickens are in there <laughs> one two three four five six seven <laughs> all right time for fun we're gonna clean this cube right here are the pop door it's got mud and stuff in it and the pop door ain't gonna close right that means a raccoon could get a hold of the door and pull it up and get in there so I want to make sure to clean that out doing like a super deep clean or anything. This is just something to get by till I get back. I just don't want Glenn to have to deal with cleaning it. I'm gonna dump this wheelbarrow in the garden. And what are the chances that I forget about these eggs? I didn't forget them. <laughs> All right, go check out this chicken jerky. It is chilly and it's snowing. I'm gonna put Oa in the coop tonight because it's supposed to get down to like 30 and this ground is so wet and saturated. I don't want him sleeping on that cold, wet ground. <laughs> Let's go in the coop tonight where it's nice and warm, buddy. There you go. Something goofy going on with my buff Orphington that has a saddle on and check her out and close this door so she can't get away from me. <laughs> Hang on, no, Nami, I know. Josie is going on here. I take your saddle off. I don't know what's going on with her. She's very agitated and I just took her saddle off because it looked like it was sitting a little weird on one of her wings. Maybe that was irritating her. Good night, oh. 
tell you what, it's gonna be a whole lot of work to do when I get back because when I get back from my trip, it's gonna be full on heading into garden season. I'm really looking forward to it.